things happen with relationships changing and people figuring things out in this episode. It hits its high point with Carrie and Franklin breaking up when they realize they want different parts in their relationship. Meanwhile, Charlotte struggles with Lily growing up and the changes it'll bring in her life. Naya, finally leaving her marriage behind, enjoys her new freedom. Miranda gets a shock when she finds out about Che's hidden marriage, they are married but never officially divorced. And just like that season 2 episode 3 recap. As the episode kicks off, Carrie walks into a studio to do the voiceover for her book's audiobook. She bumps into Lizette, played by Katerina Tannenbaum, who reminds Carrie of her younger self. Lizette, who's a budding jewelry designer, invites her to her exhibition, and Carrie happily says yes. Carrie was a bit unsure at first, but decides to voice the book herself, pushed by Amanda's belief in the realness of the author's voice. The story is tough for Carrie, especially when she has to go back to the raw feelings around Mr. Big's death in Chapter 3. After many tries and fails, she makes up a fake COVID diagnosis to avoid the emotional pain, making Amanda give her more time to finish the recording. At the same time, Seema deals with a bad incident when her love Birkin bag, really special to her, is stolen. She really hopes that the bag was stolen for the money it had inside, something that happens often in the old days. However, Carrie isn't sure, considering how much people know Birkin bags are worth these days. As the episode goes on, Seema's hopes come true her bag is found, the cash gone but the bag tossed aside. Seema goes with Carrie to Lizette's jewelry exhibition, which goes bad when a thief runs away with stolen jewelry. The thief tries to rob Seema and Carrie too, but Seema's lighter, looking like a gun, scares him off. At the same time, Naya, getting interviewed by Lisa, gets interested in the sound guy. Even though she's unsure about her future, she decides to say yes to his date, pushed by Lisa. Over in Los Angeles, Che has trouble with a scene script that shows their non-binary identity in a bad light. At the same time, Miranda is worried about her son Brady's heartbreak and his talk about wanting to die. Wanting to be there for him, Miranda manages to sneak her phone into the studio where Che's show is being filmed to keep in touch. The episode also paints a deep picture of Carrie's sadness. Reading her own words about Mr. Big's death, she feels like she's back at the moment she lost him. Carrie, feeling guilty about her fake COVID story, admits to Seema and says she didn't want to bother her friends with her sadness. Seema, though, tells her she's there for her, even though she wasn't there the first hard time. A chat with Bitsy Von Muffling, who lost her husband in the pandemic, helps Carrie keep going with the recording. But, funny how things work out, by the end of the episode, Carrie gets COVID for real after running into a group of Australian guys. While Miranda first followed her heart to Los Angeles with Che, her growing unease the longer she stays is clear. She remembers meeting a younger woman from an AA meeting, where she had joined the group's beach cleanup and lost her phone. This episode sees her in a tattoo parlor, perhaps remembering the younger woman's chat about her lack of arm tattoos. Finally, though unsure, she decides to get her first letters, MH, inked on her inner wrist. Her emotional state is further shaken up when a phone call from Brady messes up the touching moment that Che was shooting with Tony Danza. After a big fight, Miranda rushes back to New York to greet Brady. Although it might seem like Miranda and Che have split, that's not what's up. Their relationship stays whole, and they both are seriously involved in it. A real split would have been a lot more emotional. Still, their relationship staying power is up in the air. Che doesn't seem like someone ready for commitment anytime soon. As for Miranda, she is in a big change phase, with Che acting as her guide and travel buddy. But no promises here, they will be together in the end.